What's up everybody? Welcome back to another day in a motorcycle and mechanic simulator. Still in the same shop, looking lovely. We've got a few new bits. We've got a paint table over here so we can paint some bits, a repair table to repair some bits, and a brake lathe so we don't have to buy new brakes for everything. I've also moved a few of the posters and signs onto this wall. Looks just a little bit cooler in my opinion. We're doing all right. I've been in a few times. I've made some progression. Uh, I've unlocked a few things. I now have instant knowledge too. Suspension fixer, decal painter, engine fixer, and brake fixer. We had the filter fixer before, but no repair table. Junkyard know-how and scavenger intuition is all stuff we've unlocked since the last time you joined us. Today, we are trying to unlock the new barn garage. This is 20,000. I've got just shy of 20,000 at the moment. So we need to do some work, something, get a bike sold so that we can earn enough money to move over to that lovely new barn garage and have a look what's there. So I figure we should probably head over to the junkyard and buy a new bike to work on because that would be a little bit easier than doing jobs. So we are at the scrapyard. We've got the Spitfire. It's not a bad looking bike at $2,281. We may come back for this. Let's have a wander round though see what else we've got here it is quite a nice bike though but let's have a wonder see what else here we go we've got the classy over here this is a big mean looking bike i quite like this one a bit expensive 5646 so far i like the classy more than the spitfire and then a bit further around this corner we've got the roverson not a bad bike at 3036 but i'm going to go with the classy we are then back to take this classy back to the garage with us. It is a lovely looking bike. I do quite like it. 5,646 is quite expensive, but we are going to buy it, take it back and get it repaired. Here we are then back at the garage with a lovely classy bike. It is looking really nice. We do need to get this stripped down and I think we should just start quite simply with getting the wheels off. Let's just jump into this. Let's get this brake caliper off and let's just jump in. And it begins. That is the wheels off. Let's get them pulled apart from the rims so we can get them hopefully repaired. I'm not even sure if I can repair them yet, but we've got to give it a try. Also, while we're here, we're going to throw the brakes on the brake lathe and get them repaired nice and simple. Click on them. There we go. That's going. And let's throw a few things in here to be repaired. This is quite simple to interface to use. Click on them, they become highlighted. You can choose obviously up to 20 at this setting. Click accept and then click repair and it just happens in the background automatically. Okay, now the wheels are done. Let's get the rest of this bike stripped down and we'll start with the engine.
Here we are. This is the classy bike, fully stripped down. Let's get everything, un well, start getting everything onto the repair table. 20 items at a time. Let's get these repaired. Then I'll jump through and get some stuff painted, things I can get painted. And then we can jump back in and get it all back on the bike. Everything is painted and repaired, I think. Let's jump back in and hope I didn't miss anything. I probably did. As you can see, we're already off to a pretty bad start. I've already missed something. The alternator cover one, let's buy that. Doesn't matter too much, though. The shopping interface is very, very easy to use. So let's just jump back in. How good does that tank look? I love it. Let me know what you think. I missed loads of stuff while we were, we were putting it back together there, but it didn't seem too bad. Let's get on and get these wheels back together, looking nice and shiny, and then we'll jump on and get the rest of this bike put back together and probably see that I've missed a load more that I didn't know I had.
Well, I did miss a few more bits, but it wasn't as bad as the rest of it. This is this bike finished looking nice. It's got some skulls on it on a few places, a bit of flowers here and there. It's in a black and white color. It looks amazing. Have I got everything? <laughs> no, I also missed the fuel filter cap and the fuel filter mean. Of course I did, because it wouldn't be me without missing a load of stuff. So where do we drop that? There it is, just under the fuel tank there. Let's get these put on and then we'll get the rest of this bike ready to go. Here we are. Now we have finished. Just got to fill up the oils and stuff like that. Oil and fuel. Obviously, the forks have already greased, which is nice. It means I don't have to do it. So let's get on with that and go for a ride. Nice. Now it's all done. Now we can take this lovely classy bike out for a quick test ride. Off the little jump, pulling down. Let's see what this bike can do. I am absolutely terrible at this. I will be the first to admit that I am bad at riding the bikes. There we go. First crash. Let's try that again. Let's just hammer down the straight. Try and hit the corner if we can. Go around the corner. Come on, bike. There we go. And then accelerate. We're going to try and hit another jump because at last time I tried this, I crashed. Oh my god, I made it through straight over. Oh, beautiful. And I'm going to crash. No. Anyway, let's go back to the shop. Here we are then, back at the shop. We have finally finished this lovely bike. Now it is time to sell it. And hopefully I've made enough money to be able to buy the barn garage and still go in. And still go in and keep going. And have enough money to be able to at least repair a few jobber bikes, send them away, earn a bit of money and a bit of XP so that we can carry on in this game. Because if this goes wrong, I feel like I'm out. But here we go. Time to sell it. 18,813 is saying we are profiting by 13,000. I don't believe that's going to be true. I think we're going to be just over 22, maybe. Hopefully that's enough. Just over 22. Let's go and buy the bike barn. OK, on the map. So let's open it up. Here it is, Barn Garage by Yes. Let's go and have a look. Here it is, much bigger workstation. We've got two benches to work on, which is nice. I didn't expect to see that. A few more bits of junk dropped around the outside. Are any of these usable? Doesn't look like it. No, they are not. None of them are usable. So I'm going to clear up some space here. I'm going to go and steal my workbenches from the house garage. And bring them all back here and get them laid out in a nice workspace for myself to work on a few bikes. Okay, I went back and got everything. Here we are on the tyre changer. Let's get it squeezed in against the wall there. Bit more. There we go. And then we'll get the tyre balancer next to it. That'll be nice. And then we'll work our way down with like the painting and the repair table. And we'll fit everything in. Here we go, tie changer, tire balancer, repair table, brake lathe and the paint table all there nicely. Let's see if we can pit some artwork on the wall for me. Uh, apparently we cannot use the big banner here. That's a bit of a shame. Will it fit up there? No, no it will not. Okay, scratch that. That's a shame. Let's try and... Let's not try. Let's pit the posters on the wall because we know they will work. They are pretty cool. Get them down, make it look as nice as we can. And then I'm afraid, sadly, that is pretty much all we have time for today. I was going to try and squeeze another bike repair in, but you might have to come back next Friday. Hopefully we will do it again. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Let me know if you did. Leave a, leave a like and subscribe, maybe. But thank you very much, everybody, for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.